What's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Almost two years ago I made a guide on how to play Bomb King, one of the most difficult champions in the realm and an absolute blast to play. However, a lot has changed since then and my experience has grown tremendously with Bomb King since that guide. Which is why I present to you Bomb King Guide 2. A helpful guide that covers loadouts, tips, and tricks for everyone's favorite bomb chucking beast. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Bomb King has three talents, two of which are amazing and situational, and one which is completely useless. Chain Reaction and Royal Subjects are the two strongest talents for Bomb King and give him incredible burst potential, while Accelerant, well, it's seen better days. Chain Reaction and Royal Subjects are both very similar talents in that they both modify his Sticky Bombs, which means you can use the same loadout for either talent. For these two talents, I have three different builds that I normally use. My main build, Nitro, is based around making Bomb King as mobile and as bursty as possible, giving him increased movement speed with Shock and Awe, increased reload speed with Royal Decree, giving him a bit of increased health with King's New Cloak, and making his Poppy Bomb a lot more usable with Air Blast, a super important card to have for getting the most out of his Poppy Bomb. Together, these cards make for one powerful loadout, making it much easier to dart around the map and score kills. This loadout is good for just about any situation, but sometimes you either want to get right up in an enemy's face, or you're in a situation where you need to prioritize health and sustain over scoring kills. For this, I use what I call a Juggernaut loadout. This is essentially the tanky version of Bomb King, maxing out King's new cloak so you can shrug off two sniper shots without Haven, and using Bomb Shelter and King's Court to minimize self damage and provide a bit of sustain, which is perfect for getting right up close and personal with an enemy. While this loadout is great for surviving even the toughest of situations, it's not as great for speeding around and wiping out the enemy team, which is why I only suggest using a loadout like this if you don't have a healer on your team or you're going up against a team of snipers or tanks, because BK struggles against snipers and against tanks there's not much point in building only for mobility, since tanks aren't that mobile and are often right up in your face. Against a standard team comp though, it's best to stick to Nitro. And finally, my last loadout for Chain Reaction and Royal Subjects is a rather silly one that utilizes Jolt at level 5. This is not a serious loadout, and should really only be used if you're looking to have a hilarious time sending enemies flying into the stratosphere. Jolt 5 provides the most intense knockback in the entire game, and you should use this to your advantage on maps that have wide ledges like Fish Market. This loadout is excellent against low mobility characters like Tyra, Genos, Victor, and Inara, but shouldn't really be used against champions with a lot of mobility like Eevee, Drogos, or Ruckus. All in all, this is really just a silly, hilarious loadout, and you should use it for a few really good laughs, but not in any serious setting like Ranked. Now, the big question as far as talents go is when to use Royal Subjects and when to use Chain Reaction. First of all, if you feel like you're uncomfortable with your aim and sticking bombs onto a target in the first place, you should definitely go Royal Subjects no matter what. However, if you're more experienced with the sticky bombs, then the talent really boils down to which champions you're fighting. Because while Chain Reaction does provide the most burst, there are a few champions that it's either really hard to use it against, or just flat out counter it. Against most champions, Chain Reaction is the preferred talent, but if you're facing Khan, Terminus, Maeve, Koga, Eevee, Drogos, or Leon, then it's actually better to go Royal Subjects. For Khan and Terminus, it's a simple matter of them being almost impossible to stick more than two bombs on at a time. Khan's shout cleanses sticky bombs right off, and most Khan players are eager to shout once they catch you stacking up the bombs. Both Khan and Terminus have toggleable shields, which prevents you from sticking bombs on them at all if you're facing them from the front. This minimizes the amount of use you'll actually be getting out of Chain Reaction, so I would recommend Royal Subjects for either of these tanks. Maeve, Koga, Leon, and Drogos all fall into the same category of them being very hard to hit. Koga cleanses sticky bombs off with each dash, and the rest are either too mobile or too skinny to reliably stick multiple bombs on at a time. Eevee is the last one I recommend Royals against because there is absolutely no point in going Chain Reaction. Like the previous champions, she's too mobile to reliably stick two bombs on, but even if you do manage to stick her twice, there's no need for the bonus damage at all. Eevee is the only champion with only 1800 health, which is enough for her to be completely wiped out in two sticky bombs regardless of the talent. So if you face Eevee, go Royal Subjects. Now if you do want to try and use Accelerant, there is a build for that that pretty much just maxes out the cooldown reduction card for the Grumpy Bomb so you can spam it a bit more. However, this talent is just inferior to his other two talents in pretty much every way. While it does make his stun a bit more reliable, the whole point of the Grumpy Bomb is area denial. You throw it on the point to cause people to flee away from it or bait out their shields, and the longer the fuse is, the longer people will stay away. With Accelerant, you lose some of that area denial capability, and if you do end up stunning people consistently, they'll just buy resilience to counter it, unlike his other two talents, which really can't be countered. 
You can't use Accelerant to secure kills either, because even if you throw it at a flanker as soon as they start attacking you, that throwing animation and the actual time it takes to detonate the bomb is more than enough time for the flanker to kill you. All in all, it's just a bad talent. There are several gameplay tips that you can use with Bomb King to really improve your experience with him and to wipe the floor with your enemies. Like I mentioned earlier, you should use your Grumpy Bomb as a tool for area denial, throwing it onto the objective, into a group of enemies, or into a hallway you know they're coming down to get them to scatter. It's not as useful for securing kills, but if you do see someone that's stunned, you should definitely try and kill them unless you're being attacked by someone else. Bomb King's Sticky Bombs can be a bit tricky to use. They're an extremely slow projectile, and you'll often have to detonate them mid-air in order to hit someone. This takes both timing and distance judgment, and to really master when to blow bombs at midair, you can experiment in the shooting range by throwing bombs next to the victors from different places. Bomb King's bombs can also be used to negate cover, especially with royal subjects. By detonating a bomb just past a corner, you can potentially hit someone you know is hiding behind there, and the same tactic can be used against Khan's shield by detonating bombs just above or to the side of his shield. It takes a bit of practice, but is a great way to make Khan's shield completely useless. Finally, Bomb King's Ultimate is an incredibly powerful tool that can be used to almost guarantee a kill, whether it's you or your team finishing him off. Because you're a bit slow and vulnerable when you use his ultimate, you need to use his ultimate smartly in order to confirm a kill without dying yourself. When using his ultimate, you should either try and roll onto the objective and help take out the tanks, ult behind the enemy so they retreat right into the explosion, or use your poppy bomb to close the distance while your ultimate is charging. This is an extremely useful combo where you place a poppy bomb on the floor, walk in front of it, and then detonate the poppy bomb while simultaneously using your ultimate. This makes it so that you close the distance between you and the enemy really quickly, and as soon as you land you can chase them down and detonate your massive king bomb. In general, the Poppy Bomb is the most useful tool in Bomb King's kit, and is your best friend when it comes to playing Bomb King. While it takes quite a bit of skill to use, it is an extremely versatile movement ability that lets you go pretty much anywhere. Depending on how far away you are when you detonate it, the Poppy Bomb can either send you flying forwards really quickly or shoot you really high into the sky, allowing you to breach pretty much any ledge in the game. Some seemingly impossible ledges to reach can actually be reached by jumping before you detonate, which sends you just high enough so that you land on the ledge above. While it does take skill and a bit of practice, if you can master using the poppy bomb to reach difficult ledges, then you will be an immensely better Bomb King. There are a few strong items that work well with Bomb King, and a few that you are better off without. As usual, defensive items are situational, but for healing items, your number one item should be Life Rip. Bomb King's weapons deal 900 damage apiece, so with each tier of Life Rip, you gain 90 health for each bomb detonated. This really helps out in the early game, and provides Bomb King with some great sustain. Nimble and Morale Boost are the two best utility items, because Bomb King's ult is one that you should use fairly frequently, and the more often you can use your ult, the better. Nimble is also incredibly helpful because it makes you just that much harder to deal with. Wrecker, Cauterize, and Deft Hands are the three main offensive items you should buy. Bomb King's bombs are great at both dishing out Cauterize and bursting down shields, so it's really situational which one you should buy. If the enemy team has a decent amount of shields, then you should buy Wrecker if you have someone on your team who is better at reapplying Cauterize like Victor. And you should buy Cauterize if you have someone who is worse at reapplying Cauterize like Sha Lin. Bulldozer doesn't really work with BK because the only deployables you can latch bombs onto are Ying's Illusions, Inara's Wall, and Amani's Dragon. Most of the time, you aren't even shooting at deployables with BK, so there's really no point in buying Bulldozer. So anyways, that's the end of this video. Did this video help you get better at Bomb King, one of the best champions in the realm? Let me know down in the comment section, and also make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitch channel and join my Discord server to pick up tips, leave suggestions, and become a part of our active community. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.